Welcome to 50210 Part 2. Uh, so Penelope Young here, and we're going to go through um, Netiquette one more time. We were talking about inbo the inbox on the last video. I'll try to keep them under 10 minutes. So, Okay, so when you're using uh, the inbox, or if you just email me directly, I want you to observe Netiquette standards, and I'm going to show you where that is. Take us a second. If you scroll down here, there's a bunch of things that are going to ask you to mark them done. So you'll need to do that before you're able to access the work. And one of these is Netiquette. So Netiquette is please read how to email me and behave in class. So Netiquette has to do with, it's basically etiquette, the word etiquette with net on it. Um, but it's basically explaining that there's a difference between taking a college course or professional behavior online versus the uh, way that we casually interact with friends. We do use email and we do use texting and we use a lot of online things very quickly and casually, but we are in a class here. So let's just remember that. That's basically all you have to remember, how you would behave in a classroom. So the golden rule applies down here, treat others the way you wish to be treated. Don't get extreme, you know, even if you really disagree, and in some of the discussions I really encourage some dialogue and disagreement or agreement, um, but there's no hostility that needs to happen on an online course at all. Some people <clears throat> do that. I think it happens less and less. I think we're starting to understand um, th what, what the Internet really is and how to work with it, but there are some students and some people that just have... Uh, kind of a strange perception of it okay so that's why this is here and it's going to explain to you how to say dear professor and so on um, you're going to avoid slang don't send me emojis okay make sure you're capitalizing I right here there's there don't just say uh, ty for thank you you're going to spell everything out okay you're going to use full sentences you're going to think about what you're saying and most importantly, well, there's two most importantly. First is down here, you're going to start by saying have a great day in the closing or in the opening. I suggest the opening more than the closing because people get a first impression, if that makes sense. The second really important thing is that you want to remember online is that you don't want to just blow up someone's phone, okay, or their email you get all the information together before you send the email don't just say oh my god it's not working you know and send it off get take a little time double check take a breath look through and make sure you did all the steps and then send a complete email about what's going on with the subject stating what the issue is okay so go back here into inbox you're gonna say what doesn't work. These are um, kind of common ones <laughs> that I've had to use, but you know, you're going to you're going to state what the subject is, get into as much detail in the first email as possible. I I have 100 students in this class. I teach for three institutions. I can't email back and forth with that many students. I need to have as much information from the beginning. And it isn't even to do with the numbers. It's just good practice, okay? So give me all the information you can come up with, tell me what you did, and then sit and wait till I email you back. If a day and a half goes by, 36 hours, and you don't hear back from me, perhaps something went wrong, and then you politely wanna say, uh, I didn't hear back from you is something you know, I just want to make sure that you got it, and I'll say, you know, I might send you a really brief response if if I'm in the middle of a lot of grading and saying, you know, I'll get back to you in, a, in a, another day, okay? But it's not going to be immediate. Everything that goes on on an online class can be fixed over time, so don't panic, okay? There's no panicking. We have real due dates, and you really have to abide by the due dates, But but other than that, if something's wrong there's an incorrect correct due date put in or time or I did 11 a.m. instead of 11 p.m. that has happened um, that 
could be something that you want to, sorry for my text, right in the middle, that is something you want to consider that um, you'll get two points for telling me that there was an incorrect due date, but what I want you to think about is um, it, if that is the case, I will repair it, okay? And you'll get another chance to work on it, okay? So that's netiquette. This is going to be on your syllabus quiz. Okay, so we went down here, most of it. We did inbox. We didn't get to commons. You won't really need that. Help is important because this is going to give you some information on how to work in Canvas. One of the the first things here is going to be the canvas guides. Now this is a little weird. I feel like this search thing is strange where you have to click right here and there's no box and then just say um, I have a question on uploads because you're going to ask that. Um, let's say, oh here it is. There, it took a minute. Up. Oh, okay. So that's a good one right there. How do I upload and emit uh, and embed it as a student because this is the first thing you're going to do in the discussion. So that is right there and it's going to walk you through it. I'm also going to walk you through it right now. Okay, so there's a bunch of information here. This is all the information that you're going to need to consult before you tell me you have a technical problem. I'm not tech support, okay? I know that seems kind of mean, but you have to use some other resources um, we're all using technology these days, and um, I am not going to spend a lot of class time covering technology. But what I will show you how to do is how to, to upload um, images. Now, right here, we went through this whole bar, and we're going to go through these two over here. But we're going to skip right now, and we're going to pass learning tools. We're going to go to week one assignment. And it's going to tell you what to expect. You don't get any points for reading or for the PowerPoints. I know some people do that, but I don't. Um, there's no homework for Chapter 1. The Introduce Yourself discussion kind of counts for that. And then you have a writing assignment down here for color theory for 30 points. So there's two quizzes, actually three, including the syllabus quiz. One, two, three. You have a discussion for 40 points and a color theory uh, writing. I wouldn't call it an essay. But you can use bullet points. Syllabus quiz is next and this is worth 20 points and then um, you'll have questions. I'll show you student view too. I'm in the instructor view still the way that we're looking at this. So there's some questions there. Okay, some are fill-in and some are um, multiple choice. One second, let me get past this. There we go. Next. You don't have to do it this way. You can co you can come back out and go in again. Now here is our discussion and this is where you're going to do the upload. So there's information here. You're going to read this. You're going to tell us about yourself and your hobbies and the point breakdown will be down here. Then you're going to find two images from the textbook and you're going to either use the internet and Google it or you can uh, download these from the ebook. Now, I did say this, or sorry, the PowerPoints in Canvas. Um, you, it, this is a little tricky to do it that way, but I'm going to show you the first one and the second one. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go through all the instructions here. Your introduction for yourself telling us about you is four points. Your definition of art is four points. The image um, correctly uploaded is six points, title four points, classification if you like it or don't like it and you want to say why, it's not just a one word answer or two word answer. Always get into the why, then eight points for um, your reasons. Okay, there's two videos here. What you're going to do is you're going to hit reply to my um, post and then you're going to get in here and you're going to say um, I like this work. You know, you, there's a lot more that you need to do, but I'm going to just show you the upload part of it. Okay? So there's an image right here. I'm going to do this part first. Um, then I'm going to go to Canvas. There's three options here. I don't know if you guys get three in the student view, and I can't do this any other way. So then I'm going to go to Course Files. Then I'm going to go to Upload File. I'm going to look on my desktop. I'm just going to do one of these screenshots for now. Wait for it. See how it says it uploaded and it says screenshot. And then I'm going to put update. 
and there it is. So when you post your reply, you should be able to see the image. Some students make the mistake of attaching. An atta the attachment is down here. You don't want to do that. Don't attach. Make sure you upload. Okay. So for a specific image, I'm going to first go to the internet. Let's see. We're going to look at our book. You guys don't have the ebook, so I'm going to do it this way. You, you're going to find an image. Um, and I'm going to say, I want this image. You can you click on images. I just Googled her. And then I want this image. This is in our book, right? So I'm going to save image as. This is on a Mac. I'm going to put it on my desktop. But you can just download this image whichever way you're going to download images. Normally it's like a right click. Okay? You can see the download down here. It's also on my desktop. Okay, I'm going to go back to my um, discussion, reply, embed image. Remember, you got to go to Canvas and then put it in your course file, upload, find it, hit that, and hit update. Okay, last one. I'm going to show you the PowerPoint way to do this, and then we'll do another video. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Chapter 1, Part 1 PowerPoint. I'm going to download this, and that's going to take a couple of seconds. Now again, this is going to look different if you have a PC. The Chromebook shouldn't be too different than this. So I'm going to open this up. I'm in my PowerPoint. I want to use this image here. Okay? So I'm going to click, right click like you would, and I'm going to save as picture I'm going to put that on the desktop and you want to get the title and everything I'm just doing this so that you see how to do the, the steps okay don't forget all the details we're just doing this kind of quickly okay now I'm going to upload again course file upload <gasps> it's there Magic. Don't you love the internet? Okay, update. Right? Okay, so I am going to post my reply and then I'm going to stop here.